Hello everyone, if you're bored in Rec Room and you're tired of seeing Ignited Park Furry Costume Daycare Land 1234 in the hot tab, then here are 27 quality maps you should check out. Trust me, I've been around the game since 2020 and I have plenty more where these came from, so if you like my recommendations, bop the like button on the video and use code Tara in Rec Room, or just hit the support button on my profile in game. All of the RecNet links to these rooms are in the description below. Alright, map number one, Button Mash. This is a really cute game for up to six players who stand at individual podiums and it's very straightforward. Once you start the game, a pattern will appear and you have to quickly smash your buttons to match said pattern. The player who gets it first advances as a loud voice announces whether french fry or banana took the point. It might seem easy, but once you start competing with your friends on who can mash the buttons the fastest, it gets ridiculous and hard to focus. So try it out. Number two, Spot It. Based on a popular board game, the rec room version of this game is somewhat disorienting in a really entertaining way. Two sets of photos will appear and you have to find out quickly which item appears in both. Once you figure it out, you run towards the actual item and you get a point. Much like button mash, the fun lies in the competition of figuring it out before your friends. At the end, the winner gets placed above everyone else holding a golden trophy. You'll find yourself playing round after round until you're slightly dizzy and have a headache. Or maybe that's just me. Number three, know your friends. This is a game that I recommend taking someone to if you want to get to know them better. It's great for first dates and figuring out if someone should become your best friend or someone you should flee from immediately. Essentially, you roll the dice and land on a square, at which point you have to answer a question. They range from fairly benign, like name three things you can't live without, to rather personal, like what life experience has shaped you the most. I guarantee you'll at least find out a lot more about the other person after a round of know your friends. I recommend this game with just two people, but more can definitely play. Number four, price. Price guess. price guess is like stepping into a flashy Las Vegas nightclub. It may take a while to load, but that's because there's a lot going on in here. Much like Price is Right, you have to guess the prices of various items, ranging from ice machines to Rolex watches. I honestly got hooked on this game because I love trying to guess what things cost, and there's some extravagant and eccentric items in the roster here, which make it a challenge for even the most savvy shoppers. The room capacity is 10, so try it out today with some friends. Number five, Teledraw. Teledraw is one of my favorite games to play with friends, but there's a couple caveats. One is that you definitely need six people, or I don't think you can start the game, and the second is that in my experience, it can break if one person leaves midway through, so don't invite your friends with fickle McDonald's Wi-Fi. However, this Gardic phone style game will leave everyone laughing when it turns downright ridiculous. You're in individual booths with a canvas and you take turns interpreting drawings. At the end, all the drawings are lined up so you can see it completely degrade over time. You started with the phrase prickly pear, and it ends with your friend drawing what they thought was a FNAF character because in the middle, the pear started looking more like Freddy than a pear. Trust me, it's pure entertaining gold. Number six, the ride of Jumbotron. If you've played Jumbotron and enjoyed it, you must check out the ride of Jumbotron. It's a thrilling roller coaster with fantastic music and laser burst guns that you use to shoot enemies along the way. There's a comical surprise in the middle, and the boss at the end hides a mysterious identity. The map isn't the newest, but it's really a top gem that I guarantee you'll end up favoriting afterwards to return to a second or third time. Number seven, Rec Room Karaoke. Even if you're too shy to sing, you must check out Rec Room Karaoke. The room itself is phenomenally made, and the selection of music is unbeatable. It's really fun to watch people sing and see what music they're into. The map is made by three of a kind, and they procure some of the top quality maps in Rec Room, so definitely head over. The room capacity here is 25, so it's great for bigger groups and parties. Number eight, Vacation. In Vacation, you end up on a wild journey, starting in your dorm room, but quickly being phoned about a free getaway where you have no time to pack. At the airport, you can choose one of a few destinations, and each one leads to a surprising outcome. It's a great way to pass some time checking out the different countries like Canada or Japan. Just watch out for the free labor you get roped into doing at the end of the trip. Free vacations. They always have a catch, I tell ya. Number nine, Harry Potter story. If you're a Harry Potter fan, or even if you're not, you'll appreciate all the work that went into Harry Potter story. Based on the first movie, you start with a glorious view of the Hogwarts castle, and then begin in Privet Drive, making your way up to the Dursleys' house, complete with flying Hogwarts invite letters, and eventually in Diagon Alley and then Hogwarts. It's a tremendously beautiful map that takes a lot of time to explore, with a Quidditch pitch at the end, and then the Mirror of Erised. Like I said, even if you're not into Harry Potter, you have to see this at least once. Number 10, Dragon Legend. I love a good travel map, and you'll feel absolutely transported to Asia once you land in Dragon Legend. A roaring dragon greets you as you walk up to a castle, and on the other side, yes, you can go for a dragon ride. It's unforgettable and definitely have music up because it's transformative. You then experience a raft ride and there are floating lanterns all around. It's just gorgeous. Dragon Legend is one of my my favorite places to film and take friends who are wanting to know what Rec Room has to offer. Hands down, top 10 map and one of my absolute favorite hidden gems. Number 11, Hugo. I was never a fan of the actual movie Hugo, but that didn't matter when I explored this room. You enter the steampunk world and immediately there's a bop on the radio that will have you wanting to dance. You then embark down a snowy alley and the various subrooms afterwards will have you wondering how did they do it? This was before Rec Room Studio, but it's so lovely you will want to hang out here for ages. The final subroom has fireworks over Paris and it makes for a very special photo op or a chance to leg out. The fireworks seem to heat up a VR headset pretty quick. Number 12, Mad Max Fury Road PvP. This is one of those rooms you'll never believe was made all the way back in 2020. It was ahead of its time. You should also be warned that it's quite fast paced with all the moving vehicles, so in VR you might start to feel a little bit woozy if you're not careful. Essentially, it's a PvP in the desert, Mad Max style. You can team battle or do capture the flag, and everyone has to wear costumes to start the game. The vibe is so apocalyptic, and the photo ops here are incredible. It supports up to eight, so favorite it, and go see it the next time your friends are online and bored. Number 13, Baba Yaga. Not quite a horror map, more of an eerie experience. Baba Yaga is incredible 
incredibly beautiful and ominous. It's based on Slavic folklore about a creepy witch living in a house with chicken legs who eats children. Uh, need I say more? Regardless, you'll find the pathway up to her house full of nefarious surprises. And once you get there, the house also leads right to Baba Yaga and her evil plans. The map ends in a very strange way that I guarantee you won't expect. I'm not gonna spoil anything, map capacity is six, so make your friends go first if you're scared. Number 14, Pong 2020. Best when experienced in VR, this room holds 12 people, but only one person can become the ball as the other two people compete to bounce it back and forth successfully. So yeah, it's a game of Pong where the human is the ball, and trust me, it's as disorienting as it sounds being the ball. This is just one of those undeniably creative maps in Rec Room that you don't often see being made anymore, sadly. So I highly recommend visiting it and appreciating what the old OG Rec Room was all about. Number 15, Whoville Holiday. This Dr. Seuss classic from How the Grinch Told Christmas was a solstice contest winner. The details are phenomenal, and I know you'll agree once you see this cartoonish winter wonderland. It's amazing for photo ops, exploring all the buildings, and just being in awe that this is all procured with a maker pen. The soundtrack is original, not copyright for you streamers out there, and the room holds 10 players. Number 16, The Story of the Woods. If you like fairy tales and somewhat happy endings, you'll love Story of the Woods. The writing in this map is so comical that I laugh every single time I go through. Whether you're being chased by a giant cow, choosing to help or ignore Red Riding Hood, or just listening to a monologue song outside Cinderella's castle, there's never a dull moment in this quest. Number 17, Dark Souls. Based on the epic video game, Dark Souls is an art map that has many subrooms, each more tantalizing than the last. From incredible castle views to dark dungeons, this six-player room has a strong medieval vibe that is unmatched by anything I've seen in Rec Room. Fun fact, I actually did a live stream here once and we dressed in medieval attire. It's great for taking photos and exploring, so check it out. Number 18, Volleyball. I'm not much into sports, but Volleyball in Rec Room was strangely addicting. I can't comment on the vibe for screen mode players, but in VR, this is one where you definitely want to make sure you place a mat on the floor, or at least be smart about your surroundings before you accidentally destroy your mom's favorite antique lamp. Don't say I didn't warn you. Number 19, Invention Tower. I know I'm always pushing Invention Tower. If you watch my channel regularly, there's a good chance you've heard me mention it at least once. If you go to Ink Ink, there's a subroom door to Invention Tower, and it's just an endless source of entertainment, exploring all of the floors. Each one has a theme from Golden Trophy to Halloween to Aliens. The inventions range from artistic to interactive, and there's something for everyone. I'm just sad it doesn't get updated anymore, but there's still a couple dozen floors at least to view, which would take you hours to see. It's a great place to go when you're bored. Number 20, Founded Egypt. I'm a huge fan of all things Egypt, and this map did not disappoint. You start in the desert and literally drive a Jeep with a janky radio over to the pyramids, at which point you have to decipher hieroglyphics, and there might be a mummy jump scare or two. The room capacity is four, and this quest is highly underrated in my opinion. Just don't get lost in the pyramids. The mazes in there can be life threatening. Number 21, Face Your Fears. I didn't put many horror maps on this list because they're not for everyone, but Face Your Fears is a two player map that is very thrilling, despite you actually not moving anywhere. You're stuck in a bed, and various sinister monsters emerge throughout the night. It's enough to make oh, anyone have. the heebie jeebies. What is a heebie jeebie, anyway? Hmm. Anyway, check this one out if you dare. Number 22, Aladdin. This might be one of, if not the first community map that I visited in Rec Room, and even though it's older now, you'll still be wondering how did they do this with 2020 Maker Bed? It's a recreation of the Disney classic, complete with a genie song, magic carpet ride, and Raja the Tiger. There's even a ratatouille Easter egg hidden. Can you find it? Everything about this one is extremely well made, and I hope you do check it out. There's room for 10 people, and also there's camels you can ride. So yeah, pretty much no excuse not to go, because camels. Number 23, Halloween Light Show 2021. I don't even care that this one is seasonal. You can enjoy it any time of the year, not just Halloween. This is a dark neighborhood with a Halloween light display set to the tune of the iconic Nightmare Before Christmas song. It's absolutely spectacular, and you'll really get into the Halloween spirit, even if it's July, because that's probably when you're watching this, but I digress. Number 24, Ensaladas. If you're like me, you pronounced this wrong at first and said Ensaladas, and then got confused with the Tex-Mex food Enchiladas. Anyway, this map is otherworldly, and it's the best place for amazing photo ops in Rec Room. They recently put a buggy outside that you can drive around in. Gravity is a little sparse because obviously you're on one of Saturn's moons, so that's just how it is. It's a really lovely hangout, or if you're a streamer, it's a great place to host live streams or film. The room capacity here is 12. Number 25, Downtown Parkour. If you like a good obby, Downtown Parkour is not too easy or difficult, but it is unique. I could probably make a themed list of all of my favorite maps, as in a whole video about only parkours, only horror maps, but in this video, I'm just trying to do an overview of everything. So the lighting in this parkour shifts often enough to keep things looking really fantastic, and some of the obstacles are heavily themed, like having to avoid cars or bounce from building to building. Overall, it's pretty entertaining. Number 26, Improv Theater RRS. My friend Com B made this map, and it's great fun to act out skits with your friends. There's a ton of props backstage, and you get given a prompt to act out in front of the audience. Props include Grimace Shakes, Huggy Wuggy, Minecraft Steve, and many more. You'll definitely be laughing at the randomness you and your friends come up with in this theater. Number 27, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. This six-player map is a recreation of the original Willy Wonka factory, and you can do everything from take the classic boat ride down the Chocolate River to take photos with the Oompa Loompas. Another slightly older map, but a total gem. You will definitely enjoy it if you're a fan of the movies, so check it out. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Rec Room maps are. I have so many more I could share, but I'll save that for a part two. From this list, there should be plenty here to keep you from boredom in Rec Room, but if you really think you might still be bored, then watch the video I put on screen here. I'll see you over there.